guys, what's up? It's your girl Golden Jailene. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Today is January 3rd and I know I haven't posted in like two weeks but that's because the last time I posted was like right before finals or during finals and after finals I feel like I just needed a break from filming but I'm back and yeah I cut my hair again. Uh, excuse it right now, I didn't really style it the way I wanted to. I kind of just quickly try to straighten it really fast like I wasn't very precise with it anyway today's video is a review and tutorial using this makeup for wow it's upside down makeup forever lustrous shadow palette this palette really caught my attention on the Sephora website I have not seen a single review well I'm lying I did see like two reviews but I mean like I haven't seen big influencers talking about this palette there are some shades in here that really do stand out to me and I don't know, I just really wanted to get it. I took advantage of it being on sale because this is $49. I personally think it's pretty good quality, at least the shadows, the packaging, no. <laughs> I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So I did the look that is currently on my eyes with these shadows and if you'd like to see how I got it, just keep on watching. So first we're gonna go into this white shade right here. I hope I'm saying the right name, M322, and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. and I'm putting it all the way up to the brow bone. I'm just setting my lids because I put concealer on as primer. Next, we're gonna go into this greenish gray shade. It is M500. This is going to be my crease shade. So initially, my first reaction to this shade is that it's a little patchy, but if you really blend it out, you can end up making it look nice. And it also looks a lot more dark brown than it does gray once you put it on the lids. You know what, we're just gonna forget the shade names and I'm just gonna point because I think I'm getting the names all wrong. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is right next to the shade we just used. This is more of like a tan. <laughs> color. I'm not good at describing colors, but it's a very cool tone brown. It is a lot lighter than the color I just used, and I'm going to use this to help blend out that shade I just used, the greenish and grayish color. And this color helps so much with blending. The camera isn't really picking up how dark it is because my lighting sucks right now. I am so sorry. It is super cloudy. I feel like I say this in every video. Just bear with me. All right, next we're gonna go into this red shade that is screaming my name. And we're gonna take a smaller brush and we're gonna focus this in between the crease and the lid. Now we're going to add some shimmer. We're going to take this golden color right here, just with our finger, and it is very pigmented. And we're going to focus this on the inner half of the lid. You know what this color reminds me of? It reminds me of the Super Shock Shadow by Colourpop in Kathleen Lights. Next we're going to take the color that is right under that, and it is this pretty purple. This color also swatches very nice. Now, this is not as pigmented as the gold. I feel like the gold is just a little bit more pigmented, but you can build it up. Next, we're gonna go back into this red shade and just blend things out a little. We're gonna go back into our two crease shades and we're gonna mix them and further blend. For my inner corner, I'm going to take this shimmery champagne, also very pigmented, and I'm just going to apply this with my finger. By the way, if you see something uh, going like up and down, I apologize, it is my mirror. Next we're going back into the matte white and we're going to use this as our brow bone highlight. Oh, it got on my eyebrow. Next, I am going to do a small wing. I'm 
Next, I'm lining my waterline with the Marc Jacobs gel crayon. All right, next we're gonna go into the black and I'm just gonna use this to set some of that black eyeliner. Lastly, I'm gonna take the red shade again and put it on my lower lash line. All right guys, this is the finished look. Okay guys, so that was the demo. Now here are my final thoughts. I think this palette is great if you can get it on sale. I don't think that this palette is worth $49. I think that's a little pricey. This packaging is very cheap and flimsy. For a $50 palette, you'd think that the packaging would be a bit nicer. Um, I also don't like how there's no mirror in this palette. When I saw it, I thought it was going to be similar to the Just Peachy Mattes packaging where it opens like this and has a mirror. But this is not a mirror, this is just a tin, and this comes right off. But putting that aside, I think the shadows are nice, but they aren't anything special. I feel like you can find a lot of these shades in any neutral palette nowadays. If I'm going to be quite honest with you, the only reason I bought this palette was because of the red and the gold. I really like reds and gold and this black. Luckily, I got this um, during the Weekly Wow sale. It was reduced to 39 but because we had an extra 20% off on sale items, I only paid around 32 for this palette, which I think is a very good price. Makeup Forever shadows are very nice. The mattes in here are very soft. The shimmers are pretty good. The only complaint I have is the packaging, honestly, and the fact that because the packaging is so cheap, it shouldn't be $49, but I didn't have to pay that much money. So that's it for this review, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!